Welcome back to another episode of AP Bassing. Today, I got this crazy idea. Last night I was thinking, I was like, what can we do um, rather than just going fishing? Like, I go fishing all the time. I get to enjoy my boat all the time. I just got done with the Lake Michigan series. If you guys haven't checked that out, it was a blast to make. I had a great time. And I was just thinking. I was thinking last night, and I was like, what if we just try and offer somebody to go fishing with me? Like, let's just walk around. Um, lately, this summer, so many people have been getting into bass fishing. There's been such a big growth in the audience, and I've been meeting a bunch of you guys. Some of you guys don't have boats. Um, boats are a huge investment, and a lot of people don't get to experience them. So, my plan is to meet a random fan or meet a random person, get to talking to them, and take them fishing. I want to thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this idea and sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about Mystery Tackle Box, they're a box full of baits, and I'll go over these on the water, but essentially you get these baits sent right to your door every single month, hand-picked, hand-tuned, amazing lures. Give a little peek, a little peek peek. We'll save that for later. But thanks to them, if you guys do want to get your first box for as little as $10, use my code, lettuce. And there you go. There's a discount. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Let's go and just walk around a little bit. We're going to go inside a sporting retail store, see if we can't meet somebody, and ask them if they want to go fishing. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you guys. Um, you, you want to be in the video? I don't mind. That's okay. Where are you from? I'm Arlington Heights. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, yeah. We're by the hospital. So. Nice, nice. Been following you guys since last year, man. Sweet, man. Good what do you What are you doing for the rest of the day? Uh, we're going up to Kenosha. Kenosha? Yeah, with the kids and everything. Oh, so. you got a bunch of kids. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm trying. I'm filming a video right now where okay. I just want to take somebody fishing. Oh, okay. So you got you got uh, some people you're with? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, that, that would have been great. But, uh, no, all good. All good. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck fishing in Kenosha. Four of us, so yeah. Hey, man. It's me. Yeah. Take care, guys. He had four of his kids with us. They were going on a trip um, to Kenosha. So, unfortunately, nice guy. He's not going fishing though. We gotta keep looking, keep searching. We're by the Guggen Baits right here. The Lunker Logs are all gone except white. Not a lot of rattling nuts though. It's good coming to play today. One of the, one of the, you wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing? I wish, I'm going up to Wisconsin. Oh, going nice. Up to puck away. Nice. Yeah, we're uh, we're trying to take somebody fishing today. Oh, there you go. So we need to find somebody. Good luck. <laughs> Everybody here is too busy working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, nice. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, another nice gentleman, but unfortunately, he's got to work. He can't take the day off. So we're going to go to the mall now. Keep looking through the mall. Maybe we'll find somebody. It's only 3 o'clock. It gets dark at 9 here, so we've got a full afternoon of fishing available. Who wants to go fishing? Anybody want to go fishing? We're actually in a mall now. Now we're way out of our comfort zone. We've left the sporting goods store. Now we're in search of somebody who's at the mall that wants to go fishing. We're going to find you. And you're coming with. We've stumbled across the food court now. I think we need to make it back to the Guggen Bait section because that's probably our only shot here. All these people are just trying to eat. They don't want to go fishing. You want to go fishing? You want to go fishing? Right now? I think you off tonight, yeah. What time you get off? 3 3. I got my daughter tonight, so I would. Oh, dang. Yeah, we're trying to find somebody to go fishing with. Well, who, who else is off at 3 30? Uh, I got someone. Yeah? Yeah. Well, is he, is he right there. Well, we might have found somebody. He's got to watch his daughter tonight, so he can't go, but. Do you want to go fishing? Why not, man? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> you serious? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Where should we go? Up to you. Well, you call Have you ever fished Lake Geneva? Lake Geneva? Lake Geneva, is that where you want to go? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. What, uh, what time? So you get off at 3.30? Yeah, there. You got 30 minutes. That's right. What if you just walk out right now? Would you get in trouble? Probably. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you want to stay till 3.30, I'll wait for you. Sure. Um, I'm outside, just right out in front of the parking lot. You could drive with me, I could drive, or you could meet me there, whatever you want to do. Sounds good. Okay, right. cool. I'll meet you in the parking lot. Right. Yep, sounds good. Cool. Alright, got something to go fishing with. Um, he's been working all day, so what a great relief. He gets to get off work, 
go to a lake he's always wanted to fish. And we're gonna try and catch some big smallmouth and largemouth out of Lake Geneva. If you guys don't know what Lake Geneva is, it's a super popular like powerboat lake, but it has big fish in there and it's gin clear and it's right on the border of Illinois and Wisconsin. That's where we're headed. Let's go rig up some rods, get ready. Got a fishing partner. What's up? We got too many people. Too many people to go fishing with now. No, I wanna, I wanna take one of the employees. You know, after you work all day, the best thing to do is have a surprise fishing trip. Hopefully he's watched some of my videos. If he hasn't, who cares? We'll explain what I do. We'll explain what he does and go from there. He, he sounded excited when I said Lake Geneva. He's never fished it. He's got big fish in there. Let's do it. You ready? Here we go. We're going fishing. Yeah, you could go, you could, you could you got shotgun. shotgun. Oh, okay, cool. So what was your name again? Brandon. Brandon. Nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet you, man. Heck yeah, where are you from? Johnsburg. Johnsburg, nice. So here's what we got. We got we got a mystery tackle box. Sure. Check it out. That's yours to keep and fish with if you want. Appreciate it. Um, we're, we're gonna go Lake Geneva. Okay. You ever caught a smallmouth or largemouth? Like largemouth I have, smallmouth I have not. You've never caught a smallmouth? No. Okay, we're gonna have to do that. Um, what else is there to do on Lake Geneva? There is so much to do. You're probably going to see some of the biggest and most expensive boats you've ever seen. And hopefully catch some fish. Gosh. What? What? How big is this thing? Holy crap. 28 and a half inches long. You ever seen a walleye that big? All right, guys, we've made it to Lake Geneva, the probably the most beautiful lake close to Chicagoland, I'd say. Brandon and I are gonna smash some fish. We just, we just saw a 28 and a half inch walleye, dead. Um, not good, met another fan at the lake too. He's behind us, he's putting it in his boat and he wants to do a little 1v1. So maybe we'll do a little 1v1, you down for that? I'm down. You're down, Brandon's down. The most important thing I think I learned from the car ride over here with Brandon is he's never caught a smallmouth bass. We need to give him a smallmouth. That's the mission. Only thing that's on my mind is finding a smallmouth bass. And let's see what we have in this box. I've got a drop shot tied up. I gave him a drop shot with a drag and drop. I'm going to use something out of the box here. There's a bunch of great stuff in here. We've got some gambler lures. We've even got a little filthy frog in there. Just money. Bill Lewis crankbait. Whole bunch of stuff. But the bait I think I'm gonna focus on is this 10,000 fish. It's a Yoto worm. And they actually give you a little booklet in here. Um, I was reading this on the way over here of exactly how many ways you can fish this bait. Bunch of different ways to fish the bait. A bunch of different ways to rig the bait. Uh, you can use it as a chatter bait, Texas rig, or a drop shot. So I'm gonna try it on the drop shot. It is a little bit bigger. But I kind of like that, you know, not for smallmouth essentially, but for a big largemouth. I wouldn't mind catching a largey. We just got to make sure Brandon gets his first smallie. Lake Geneva is also popping today. Absolutely popping. What do you think? Confident? Confident. Confident. No, that was the fish. Oh, wow, boys. That one just, that was a smallie. And it's so hard. Yes, 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 yes. Be a smallie, be a smallie. Oh, that looks like a big fish. Oh, it's a largey. <laughs> there you go, buddy. What do you think? <laughs> awesome. Well, we've got the first fish of the day, which is probably 15 inch largemouth on the drag and drop. We're fishing deep. We're fishing 15 to 30 foot of water. I thought for sure that was a smallmouth the way it was pulling. Rod hooked him perfectly. Boom, begging. Back down she goes. Another one. 
little. Oh, a rock bass. We need to toss the camera over to Brandon over there because <laughs> he's the only one hooking up. Second species, second fish. You ever caught a rock bass before? No. Oh, first rock bass. Yeah, there you go. There you go. A little tiny one. What was that fish doing in 30 feet of water? What was he doing? What? Wait, what? Dude, I just had a smallie like chase my drop shot up. Fish on. You too? Yeah. Double. No way. We're doubled up, guys. Oh, what do you have? Oh, I got a large Another one. Large E. First double. First fish for me. Third, Third fish. Third now. <laughs> yeah, jeez, you're killing it, man. We're both throwing the uh, dragon drops now. We just, we kind of downsized. I went a little bit smaller just because these fish are hot. It's 82 degree water temp. We're having to fish deep, try and find them. Lake Geneva putting them out though. All right, going back here. Back to the depths. Adios. Killing it now. You liking Lake Geneva? Loving it. Loving it. We've been out here for a little over an hour now. We've gotten four fish. Nothing huge, nothing to brag about. We're still after that small mouth. I'm thinking it's gonna be deep. I don't wanna fish shallow until the sun gets down, until those waves kinda of calm down. I wanna focus my time out here because I think this is the best shot to get him his first small mouth. Dragon drops all around. Let's do it. <laughs> good, thing just good thing I checked that. You know what that looked like? A muskie. I wonder how hard it'd be to even see a muskie. It's 100% what I saw though. Came up and got air. Oh! What the heck? Got him that time. Oh, it's a Rocco! I'm not really sure why these fish are just not my favorite, but they seem to serve no purpose, and you think you have a big smallie on. Rock bass number one for me, on the drag and drop, going back. Call this fish a spinner fish, cause, well that one didn't really do it, but they actually have equilibrium. I think I've talked about this before, but if you spin them, they get all dizzy, and then they kind of like flutter down to the bottom. Then they wake up and they're all good. There's so many rock bass in Lake Geneva. Fish. What is it? A largey. I'll take her. Well, spot number three. Caught a rock bass, and now my biggest largemouth of the day. Not too big, not too small. Eight pound test to 15 pound test leader. I'm using the 610 rod, which I'm really liking for a drop shot. I'm catching up, buddy. <laughs> Woo! So this is kind of my drop shot setup, my finesse setup that I've been using. I use this out in Beaver Island. Um, just such a crazy good action on that rod. It's a 610 medium. Um, 2500 size reel is my favorite size for bass. Finesse fishing. Summertime, you gotta go deep, you know. If you fish the docks, you might catch a couple, but the big fish for sure are out here. Now if we want any chance of catching a smallmouth, we need to be fishing offshore. How's it going? Good. How you guys doing? You guys a few Oh, oh, oh. Look at this little, little large. Oh, come here. There we go. What number is that? Four. Four. Number four. Want to give everybody some tips, some tricks on how to throw <laughs> a drop shot, or what's the deal? I don't know, just, you know, pretty sure it's that little Guggen Seeker you got in there, you know? That's all I got to say about it. And then you got Bill here. This Rick doesn't understand what a no wake is. What are you doing? You're supposed to stay on this side of the no wake. Like, look at him. He's still, like, look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's good. So, see all those buoys? That's the no wake. He's literally in the no wake, just cruising. Just kicking. Oh, can't fix stupid. Drop shot fishing gets addicting, especially in the summer when they bite it. 
That's a fish. Oh, that's a largey. Come here, baby. Why are you fighting so hard? Why are you fighting so hard? I don't know why these fish are slapping the bait. Like, I'm feeling them and they're just hitting it so hard and then I'm feeling nothing and then they come back and slap it again. I think this is my third largemouth, maybe? Fourth, maybe? Smallest one of the day. We're about to wrap it up here, though, folks. It's been such a great time on the water. It's 8.30. The sun is going down. A couple more casts. We're still looking for the elusive smallmouth bass. Where you at? Us. <laughs> a bluegill. Species number four. We're out here, $39, baby. Species number four. The elusive sunfish. We've got a rock bass, a large mouth, a sunfish. I guess only three species. What were you thinking? How did I hook you? What do you think? Give, give us your lowdown. Give the fans a lowdown of how you're feeling. That was a once in a lifetime experience. Cool. I truly enjoyed it and that was a lot of fun out here today. I will say that, that was awesome. Yeah, and you did say this was probably the most fish you've caught? Most fish I've caught in a day from shore on a boat. So, yeah, to over cool. a day, a lot of firsts. Cool, man. Well, we didn't get them in smallmouth, but hopefully you take the drop shot tips, you apply them to some smallmouth, and we'll go from there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of AP Bassing. We're gonna get this boat back on the trailer again. Thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. If you guys wanna check out what they have to offer, I will leave their link in the description and use my code lettuce to get your box for as little as 10 bucks. Great day on the water, love it. If you guys like this idea, I wanna do it more. I wanna fish with a bunch of you guys and just random strangers. Like, we didn't know each other before this. We caught some fish, shared some laughs, and great day on the water. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.